Today is day one of a two-day project uh, for this homeowner. We're going to focus on removal and disposal of the existing insulation material, as well as providing access points for installation of the foam tomorrow. In this area here, this is behind a knee wall, so this is considered to be a knee wall crawl space. The rafters come down and they sit on top of a plate. The floor is built on top of a joist system, and down below the floor is the top of your exterior wall. So a lot of companies will come in and they'll insulate to the top plate and heat will get out underneath and work its way out along the eaves. We cut this floor back about a foot, sometimes a little more, suck out this existing insulation, seal the top of the exterior wall, which is downstairs, come right up over top of the plate, directly up to the roof deck, and then we follow this all the way up to the top area here, which is your knee wall. You can see up in the knee wall crawl space there, or I'm sorry, in the ceiling slant, there are no uh, insulation bats of any kind. There's no fiberglass, there's no blown in cellulose or spray foam. So now we're gonna come back outside uh, of the uh, crawl space and we'll take a look at the thermal boundary that will go up the ceiling slants all the way to the peak and then down the other side towards the back of the home. Okay, so now that we um, came out of the knee wall crawl space area there where we showed you where we cut the floors back and where we we're going to spray the insulation up into the ceiling slants. You can take a look at the roof here and see that that drywall is nailed to directly to the underside of the rafters and in this particular home the ceiling flat is um, so much higher that there isn't enough access for a person to, to comfortably and safely crawl along the tops of these uh, joists to be able to spray that upper area. So in this particular case, we have to drop the ceiling so that our insulation that will go from the bottoms of the rafters and, and the cavities in there, up the slants, and we'll be able to fall all the way up to the peak. Then we'll bring it down this side and spray down into these slants on this area. So now we're in the rear crawl space and from the other side, we showed you that we'd be spraying down into those ceiling slants. Well, this is the back side of the knee wall, so we'll be spraying up to meet up with the foam that was sprayed from above, follow that insulation, that thermal boundary for the envelope, all the way down the rafter assembly, and we will be able to spray right down, and now you can see what the exposed top plate will look like. So a lot of times, like I said, companies will the only seal to here and they'll allow a bypass for the heat to escape underneath your insulation. So by cutting this floor out, exposing the top of the exterior wall, seal that plate. Your thermal boundary downstairs is your exterior wall. So that insulation meets up with this insulation, comes across the top of the plate. We spray out a little bit into that soffit just to give you a little bit of an extension beyond the exterior wall. So you get a nice T of, of insulation. Follow that up and coat the edges of these rafters. So yesterday you saw that we had cut out the floor there to gain access to the top plate, which is now sealed. And then we will continue to bring the foam up the trusses and all the way and wrap the entire roof deck. Uh, that now ensures that the entire plate and the wall plate is, is sealed to the elements. You won't have any ice there anymore. And then we're gonna continue that the entire way, all the way up to the roof deck uh, and wrap the entire thing in half pound foam. So this is day two of our, our two-day project. Uh, yesterday we showed you the area along the top plate where we cut back the floor to expose the top of the exterior first floor wall, or in this case, the second floor wall. Uh, today they sealed that with spray foam, brought that thermal envelope or thermal boundary right up the underside of the roof deck, coating the edges of those rafters, and then sprayed directly into the tops of the knee walls where the cavities run up the ceiling. So the foam from the top of the exterior wall comes up the roof deck. They spray up into these ceiling slants here, um, about two and a half feet. Come up to the top of the cavity. They spray down to meet up with that foam there. Uh, maintains the, 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 the drywall is still intact. And then the last part of this job, they'll continue this thermal envelope from the top of the slant here, right up to the peak, and down the other side to meet up with the foam that's already been taken care of on the front of the house. Once we're done, uh, the homeowner may choose to you know, pull nails, reinstall some drywall so they'll have the wood exposed in here. Um, that, that's ultimately what this homeowner is going to be doing. Um, 
There's also um, thermal ignition barrier paints that you can apply that you can put onto the, the uh, exposed foam. Um, either way, uh, at the end of the day, this house is going to be a lot cooler in the summertime and a lot warmer in the winter.